Hello and welcome to the show. Before I get started into actually what's happening today, I would like to say I'm going away uh, next week, so I there will be videos up, but I have to record them now. So they might not be very good, seeing as the fact that I have to record them all in like basically a day now, because we're a bit behind schedule, um, and then edit them through, which takes too long. So, no sleep for me this weekend. Also, that is this bright. Ah, light's too bright. Is that better? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so when I get back, though, I will be attempting some special effects and stuff uh, for my videos. Uh, I'll probably be adding them in or making new videos completely. I've been watching a few YouTube videos and I have a lot more ideas. I've got about 40 ideas now, but I need some ideas I can do on my own instead of with other people, because getting other people to be in the videos is getting tricky. So now that I've talked about that, we can finally get into the real video. So today is September 23rd, 2011, and on this day in 1846, Neptune, the planet, was discovered. Now this was actually predicted by mathematical calculations and first observed by a German. And I have the name here. It was Johann Galle. Don't know how to pronounce that at all. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun and it is is 2 billion 796 million 700,000 miles away from the sun not from us this planet takes about 165 earth years to orbit the sun and has 11 moons and now i'm going to put this away and also it has several rings around it. I have to stop moving my arms. So in the camera goes. Okay, now the camera's here and you can't see my hands moving, which is better for everybody. And there is nothing more I can add to that. So on to the next one. Today is also the first day of autumn. Well, in the Northern Hemisphere, it's officially the beginning of autumn. I have to say it's probably my favorite time of year. It's not too cold and it's not too hot because I hate the heat. I mean, the cold is fine when you're trying to get sleep, but when you're working, I don't work. But when you're sat at a computer doing stuff, for stuff like this, it's annoying when you shiver. But that there is no information about. And these lights are still too bright. Right, the contrast is ridiculous. But on to the next one, and maybe the last one. Yes, it is the last one. So it's a very quick video today. 1806, Lewis and Clark reached St. Louis on September 23rd. Meriwether Lewis and William Clark completed their expedition of the West and arrived in St. Louis, Missouri. They were hired to explore the Louisiana Territory. There are, they were hired to explore the Louisiana Territory that Thomas Jefferson purchased from the French. Now, I want to go back there where you could buy big bits of land for very, very cheap or very expensive, depending on what time you lived. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I went off on a rant, let's go back to the actual information. It took a little over two years, but they came back with valuable information, notes, samples, and maps that they created. Now all I can think of is, what if they were really crap artists? Now the maps they would make weren't very good. I don't know if they were or not, but I couldn't do it. I, they wouldn't be to scale, and there wouldn't be the right marks of the land. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I have to rush off. I have things to do. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe. Check out the links in the description for all the information below on extra stories that I've said today, and other YouTube channels that I'm on, and other websites that I'm on. Thank you for watching again, and I will see you tomorrow.